What is up guys, Major Magpie here and welcome back to City Skylines. And just look at this beautiful little beast down here. This is a uh, where I've been busy doing a bit of off-cam work. I've got a bit of garden, let's just go over permanently and have a look. Look at this. It's looking very fine. What are all these flower beds in and around here? Uh, just up and down the side, in and around our hard rock cafe. And I'm gonna put some hard rocks around our cafe. <laughs> Um, yeah, just adding a little bit of foliage to our beach area here. Let's move it out. We've got all a nice little rockery around here. And around here. Look, we've even got trams operating on our tram line. <laughs> uh, well, I'm talking about trams, actually. I just want to go ahead and give a quick mention to a new City Skylines DLC, which has been announced. There's no release date as of yet. Um, but the City Skylines Snowfall DLC is coming. Probably in the next four to six weeks, I would have thought. Um, but that's going to introduce rain, fog, and of course, snowfall. Uh, it's going to bring snow plows uh, and an actual official tram transport. So um, if you just click on this eye, this will take you to uh, the video, the trailer for that DLC. Um, but yeah, there's uh, an actual official tram DLC going to be in it, and it means that's the tram will stick the road so we'll not have all of the problems and inconvenience that we currently have with our tram line at the minute where it can only be laid level and lots of other little bits and pieces but yeah anyways back to this episode I've done quite a bit more uh, I've gone ahead and connected this line through here and uh, just pretend you can't see these blue bits here under the bridge I'm not sure what that is some sort of clash with a mod or something um, but yeah Still a little bit more to do there, I want to add some more rocks and whatnot, but it goes down underground. It doesn't go much further than here at the moment for the train line, and it doesn't go this way. But uh, I will get there, I will get there. I did intend to do more, but um, on Saturday morning, when I wanted to start recording this particular episode, or when I wanted to go in and start doing loads of modifications... AG uh, adding all these flower beds and stuff. I couldn't get the game to load, so I've had to sit and sift through all the mods, uninstalling ones that I don't particularly want that could potentially be having an effect. And eventually, after about eight hours of trying, I got it to work. So, yeah, here we are. Um, I've done the tram line up to here. We've got all of this nice little I've got a subway which is connected to our central station over here. Oh, I've also done this as well, guys. We start with this. We've got a nice little flower bed just out front of our central station. And put some more foliage on either side of this. Make it look pretty cool. Um, this is starting to fill out nicely as well. It's getting there. And we don't have much demand at the minute. Uh, we've got a little bit of demand for commercial and a little bit of demand for industrial. But nothing significant. Uh, I've redone all of this road here and just moved the Canada, the, the Canada Centre, is it Canada? Yeah, Air Canada Centre, that's what it is. I knew that. Uh, we've got this new look train station as well and I've gone ahead and removed the previous one. I've reconnected all of these lines through. These now reconnect back on. Uh, I do have some ideas for this hill here. Uh, but they're ever changing so I'm not going to go into that in too much detail until I've decided. Um, what else have I done? Ooh, Lake Metropolis. Let's have a look at this. This looks mighty fine. Look at all of the trees, the foliage, the rocks, the gravel. Our waterfall, our dam. <laughs> it looks brilliant. I love it. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how this is looking. It's taken us a while to get it to this stage. But uh, I've packed all this out with trays and put rocks and stuff in. And still want to pack all of this out. Put this footpath down here. Um, but in this episode, I think this is where I'm going to start this, guys. I want to do a little bit of sculpting on the edge of this mountain bit here. Yeah, I've also gone ahead and enabled the mod that allows us to use the entire map as well now. And also removed the dashed white line to signal the end of the, the original map. Uh, so now we can just move on over into here, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, what else? Um, we're having issues with our golf course, which has disappeared. 
quite annoying. So that's something I'm going to have to fix. I only literally realised that about five minutes ago. So yeah, I've gone ahead and I want to wait. I want to go ahead and put in some flower beds on here. And this is one of the things I did want to do, and um, when I was adding all of our foliage in, but unfortunately time hasn't been there. Uh, I have upgraded all these roads though. You can see this used to be a single road. I've gone more permanent now with a double road and the island on all the way across here with this little bridge bit. Added this roundabout and connected this up to this landfill site up here, which I was hoping was going to kind of like speed things up because uh, I had a moment where I forgot about operating the city and left for a bit and waste built up and practically crippled our city. Population went all the way down about 45,000, which was quite annoying. But we're back up there, almost 160,000 again. So as far as you guys are concerned, nothing's happened. Uh, we've got this road going around the back here. Again, connected with the roundabout. I'm probably going to take that across to here, I think, because we can obviously start building out onto this map. I might... I quite like the idea of putting a little village or something over here. But um, let's deal with our main part of the map anyways. This road goes all the way around here. Uh, you've got Belmont Park, which is an oil industrial plot, which is going to go probably in the next five episodes because uh, I've had ideas about Magster down here. And stuff that I want to do involving this highway and just extending the city ever so slightly. Um, I also want to go and connect these two things up and just do a little bit with this here, which I've decided I'm going to do on camera. I did say when we put uh, the Rod Labour Arena in that I was going to do this bit off camera. I've decided I'm going to do a little bit on cam because it should be pretty tasty, pretty good. Um, but I think. I think that is about it. I've probably done some more tweak. Yeah, I actually have. We've connected this road a bit through here. Bridges across the railway here. Uh, and I've put this road in on the opposite side of this train station here. And um, basically because I want to start extending our city onto this side. Uh, again in the coming episodes. Um, yeah, what, what I'm going to do is put our signs on so we can see what's going on in our city. Still a little bit of waste issues. Um, I'm going to have to try and remember to leave that on because I'll, it's taken us absolute ages to recover our city back to its current status. Um, but if nothing, it's stronger than it was before. It's almost 160,000. can't remember if we, have, if we actually got to 160,000 before. But um, Yeah, we have lost a few buildings as well. We've lost a building down here. Which just couldn't be loaded, but fear not, because I have a, a more than adequate replacement to go in here, and we'll get to that later on in this episode. But let's go ahead and put in some buildings, I think, to start with, guys. I've got a large, quite a large selection of buildings to go in. We're going to start with some level fives, uh, and we'll start with this here, the TD South Tower. Uh, it's a large office building, part of the Toronto Dominion Centre, so... It's um, quite an alright little building. Thing in maybe's over here. I would like to build up this side of our city. Possible. So maybe somewhere in the front here. Does it look alright enough to put it in here? 75 grand? Yeah. <laughs> Some people's not happy about that. Never mind. These will get over yourselves. It's alright. It's nothing special, but it's staying. Uh, okay, next up, Antes Tower, which again is another level 5 building. Okay, here is the Antares Tower. It's a super tall office skyscraper, employs about 650 people. Right. Um, hmm. Maybe it's maybe the tallest building in Lake Windermere. Maybe it's Place it on this corner here, can we? Next order there. Yeah, 10 Js. Psh. Ah, that's quite tasty looking. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. Okay. So that is building number two. Next up, we're going with the Nation Commune Tower. This one is a level four here by Zatlin. 
Uh, and again, it's not overly tall. But it looks like it might be a nice little building anyways. Hmm. Let me just place it over here. Front maybe, can we get it? Oh, we can get it in there, yeah. Hmm. No, you know what it is? I'm not going to put that there. I am, in fact... Probably move it across here somewhere. I would like to put it in and around here. Maybe it's there. I know that's going to remove a lot of buildings, but I'm going for it. Hmm. It's quite nice. Yeah, and it stands out down there because it's more beefier than the rest of them. Uh, so it's thin. That's where it's going to be. Right, what I want to do now, guys, is I'm going to quickly jump on and do some roads. Um, because we have a building that I want to put in, and I want to put it in along here. Um, but we don't have the roads in place to do that yet. So we're going to go free form with a four lane road and a grass bird. I'm going to pause time because I've just brought that power line, and I'm not sure if it is supplying other parts of our city. So I want to check that before we continue playing time. Right, this is just going to go under the bridge if we can get it to work. We can to there, to there, and then up and on on that road like that. Right, that connects that part of the city nicely. Um, awesome. Right, this building I want to put in down here. Then it is another music theatre, and I'm thinking maybe it's probably about here if we can make it fit. Let's go and find it first of all. This is it, yeah, guys. The Guggenheim Museum, New York, a permanent home of continuously expanded collection of Impressionists, Post-Impressionists, Early Modern and Contemporary Art. So, so what I want to do, I want to go with this guy down here, and I'm thinking it, yeah, it probably deserves its own little road off the road. Uh, so I'm going to go something with trees and straight road and run that. No, you know what it is? Let's have a roundabout. I'm going to go and find a roundabout, guys. Alright, I was thinking this little thing here. It's just a dinky little thing. Nothing's too significant. And I'm probably going to put this about there. And we're going to connect some roads to it now. To a with trees. And just straight. Uh, off there. Something like that. Uh, and then run a straight line like that. And then connect our music centre onto there. Our museum, I mean. Uh, something like so. I am then just going to put in some more roads. Uh, we're just going to go with the grass verge on this one. Um, we're going to start there. To the end of there. And then. Three in like so. Same in this direction. Three in like so. And then connect that with a straight road like that. And there we go. That's got a nice little road to go on. These roads will fork off to roundabouts probably. Uh, car park, sorry. This off this roundabout. Probably get rid of that one there. This one will go to a roundabout. We'll get rid of that a little bit there as well. But, uh, yeah, that's going to add a nice little bit of scenery down here for... Our museum, which is cool. I'm just going to quickly check the electric. Um, oh, we. Yeah, I'm going to connect this back up because it looks like it is reliant on. Uh, that. Play time. Is that it's not even reliant? Oh no, look, we've got a connection over here. That's just a waste of time. Yeah, right, playtime. Uh, okay, so we've done that. Next up, I want to put in a courthouse, which is another level 3 building. 
I think this is actually a building that we've unlocked. No time will tell. I'll just go and find it. Okay, guys, here is the courthouse. Uh, the courthouse handles all kinds of legal business. Your citizens have requirement for building the medical center. So, um, I haven't actually given this too much thought of where I'd like to put it. Although, this densely populated area down here would probably be a good location for it if I can squeeze it in somewhere. Um, I would like to put it kind of downtown if possible. Like, in the middle of the town if we can get it to fit. But, it doesn't look like we can. It's there, but I'm not too happy on the location. What about there? Right on that end. 55,000. Boom. Let's have a look at this. That is uh, quite snazzy. True administration of justice is the finest pillar of good government. Awesome. It's a, quite a pretty good little building. Uh, okay, Trip Tower. Now, I didn't want to put this in the last episode, but we didn't get round to it. Um, so, we are going to place it in this episode. This is. Here it is. Here. 90,000. Uh, thinking maybe he's somewhere like that. Boom. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it just kind of looks like a cluster of office buildings. So it's going to fit in here just nicely. And then around this thing here, whatever that is again. Oh, yeah, another museum. We're kind of in date of museums, aren't we? We've got them everywhere. One on every corner at the minute. Uh, yeah, right. I did want to do some sculpting on Lake Metropolis. So I'm going to skip forward to the daytime, guys, and then hopefully we can do a little bit of sculpting and it allows me to go ahead off cam and also start adding some roads and whatnot to this, I think, or some foliage. Let's see how far we get, but... Okay, guys, now that the sun has come up, let's crack on and do a little bit of sculpting. Um, I'm very happy with how this is looking up and around here yeah, with all of the foliage on and that. It is looking pretty cool and getting round our mayor's mansion here. And he's got a little statue in the front garden. I don't intend to put a, a swimming pool out the back. Uh, and maybe it's a little walkway, a little bit of garden and whatnot. Uh, but I'm not quite settled on it just yet. Yeah, you can see here that I've already gone ahead and started setting some heights in here. Uh, I'm just going to quickly continue this. Um, all of these heights here. Pause time when we're doing this because it makes everything run a little bit smoother.
Okay guys, at the beginning of the episode I talked about a building that I wanted to place in here. Uh, this is a nice little vacant lot. Um, I can't even remember what it used to be in here. I remember what it looked like, but I can't remember what the building was called. Um, but basically it evicted itself. It was probably them aliens again coming in with them beamy beamy things on the spaceships, you know. Like the look of the building, so they took it. It had a little garden roof and stuff, but I can't find it in any of my buildings. It's one of the buildings that just will not load, so... Unfortunately, you snooze, you lose. So it's lost its plot. We're going to go over this here, which is the World Finance Center from Shanghai. And it looks very epic indeed. It wants to be because it's the most expensive building we'll ever put in. Two million. Yes, two million. Let's have a look then. It's, uh, yeah, it's pricey. So <laughs> look at that. Bottom. See what it looks like there. Well, it's got a little bit of garden area going on. We can go ahead and fill all this area out here, of course, when I get time. Uh, with different foliage, but yeah, that's looking pretty cool. I like that. Awesome! Right! Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Um, I'm glad our city has recovered, although you didn't see it when it was at, at its worst. Um, we did hit very, very low lows. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're heading close to our 160,000 citizen mark. Um, next episode, guys, I want to do a little bit more on the zoo. Uh, I want to start adding a bit of structure in here. I have, I have found some animals that I do want to put in here. Uh, we can go ahead and make a start on that in the next episode. Um, as well as head on back down to our little harbour area down here and do a little bit more work in here. Um, but yeah guys, until the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.